Oak Island, a location covered in mystery and curiosity, has attracted treasure seekers and historians for decades. At the core of this puzzle is Alex Ligina, a key figure in the island's current discovery. But what happened to Alex Ligina of Oak Island? Has he discovered secrets that could change history? Join us as we dig into the fascinating world of Oak Island, and reveal the secrets of Alex Ligina. Alex Ligina is a multi-talented personality best known for his leading part in the reality TV hit The Curse of Oak Island. This engineer, businessman, and television sensation was born in 1987 in Traverse City, Michigan, and brings a distinct combination of skill and charm to the screen. The show follows the Ligina brothers, Alex and Marty, on their fascinating quest to discover the secrets of Oak Island which has captivated history lovers all around the world. Alex's financial success estimated between 10 million to 50 million reflects not just his particular abilities, but also the influence of his father, Marty Ligina, whose net worth is an outstanding $50 to $100 million. This family connection goes beyond television to their joint enterprise, Villamari Vineyard, where Alex works as general manager, demonstrating his entrepreneurial skills and dedication to quality. Oak Island, covered in mystery since the 1800s, has long captured the interest of treasure seekers and inspired numerous expeditions and ideas of hidden wealth. Alex's involvement in the show revolves around his family's deep-rooted connection to the island, and their tireless exploration efforts, which have revealed fascinating discoveries, such as Aladdin's cave, a cavern rich in gold, and silver traces, adding to the attraction and mystique of Oak Island's enigmatic past. Aside from his media work, Alex is a hard-working professional with a passion for engineering and a good business sense. His position on the curse of Oak Island showed not only his adventurous spirit, but also his ability to face complex challenges and lead with determination making him a role model for aspiring explorers and businesses alike. Alex Ligina's varying abilities, along with his constant commitment to solving Oak Island's secrets, have solidified his place as a major figure in both the entertainment business and the world of adventure. His contributions to the program, as well as his larger effect on the world of treasure hunting, make him a fascinating and inspiring figure, with spectators anxiously expecting each new chapter in the ongoing Oak Island narrative. As we know, Alex Ligina was born and brought up in Traverse, Michigan, and is the son of Marty and M. Olivia Ligina. Alex followed in his parents' engineering footsteps, graduating from the University of Michigan College of Engineering in 2008, setting the groundwork for his goals for the future. His return home marked the start of his career into the family company, where he would quickly become an essential part in the Oak Island story. The Ligina brothers' purchase of Oak Island in 2006 established the basis for the production of the TV series, The Curse of Oak Island. In 2014, the show digs further into their treasure hunting efforts, investigating historical elements, discoveries, and many ideas about the island's strange history. Over the years, the show has completed several seasons, engaging audiences with its research of locations such as Borehall 10X and Nolan's Cross, discovering interesting clues and artifacts in the process. In addition to his position on the program, Alex runs Oak Island Tours, which gives guests a first-hand look at the island's rich history and secrets. He also plays an important part in the family's museum in Vineyard, Villamarie Vineyard, near Traverse, Michigan, demonstrating his varied business skills and dedication to preserve Oak Island's tradition. The Ligina Brothers Business Interests Report phrase extend beyond Oak Island. They also operate a well-known wind turbine firm, demonstrating their entrepreneurial drive and dedication to sustainable energy solutions. As the mystery of Oak Island unfolds, Alex Ligina remains an important figure, navigating the challenges of family ventures, television explorations, 
and the complicated puzzles that Oak Island presents, leaving a permanent mark on both the world of entertainment and the field of adventure. Growing up in a family intrigued with the Oak Island mystery, Alex Ligina developed a great enthusiasm for engineering and treasure seeking from an early age. After finishing his studies, Alex returned to his hometown and involved himself in a range of projects, including construction, energy, and vineyards. His family, including his sister, Maddie Ligina, a doctor, has helped shape Alex's interests and ambitions. Alex contributed to Heritage Sustainable Energy, a wind energy company, demonstrating his dedication to ecologically responsible operations. Alex's engagement with Mari Vineyards, a family-owned winery that specializes in red wines made from Italian grapes, shows his diverse interests in business energy. Furthermore, as the co-founder of Rockfleet Broadcasting, a firm that manages radio stations in northern Michigan, Alex has proved his capacity to excel in a variety of efforts, demonstrating his dynamic approach to business and life. Alex Ligina rose to popularity as a regular cast member of The Curse of Oak Island. From the second season onward, his role in the documentary extends beyond mere participation, as he consults with specialists, such as archaeologist Laird Niven, and makes decisions with his father and uncle. Alex's personal life has also been the subject of theories, with rumors circulating that he is romantically involved with influencer Catherine Sned. While these rumors are unverified, they show the public's interest in Alex's personal life which adds to his appeal as a television personality. But it is popularly believed that Alex Ligina is rumored to be married to Miriam, who shares his enthusiasm for history, archaeology, and treasure seeking. The pair reportedly met on the set of The Curse of Oak Island, and married in a secret ceremony. While they keep their personal lives private, their common interests and devotion to discovery are said to provide a solid basis for their partnership. Alex and Miriam now live in Traverse City, Michigan, where they continue to pursue their common interests and contribute to the ongoing investigation of Oak Island. Their cooperation not only improves their personal lives, but it also deepens their engagement in the search for Oak Island's mysteries. Alex Ligina's numerous abilities are shown in The Curse of Oak Island, when he arises as a trained diver, though the precise moment when he obtained this talent is unclear. In addition to his on-screen appearances, Alex has served as the series' associate producer, proving his adaptability and dedication to the show's success. Alex reflected on his work on the series, stating that it presented him with a rare opportunity to spend time with his uncle and father while starting on this wonderful trip together. Aside from The Curse of Oak Island, Alex has also appeared in the spin-off series, Drilling Down, establishing his place in the world of Oak Island research. The mystery surrounding Oak Island's hidden treasures began very early when a dying former sailor, believed to be a member of Captain Kidd's company, hinted at the presence of ancient artifacts and diamonds buried on the island. However, it wasn't until 1799 that Daniel McGuinness found the Money Pit, which became the main center of the island's legendary treasure quest. Alex's involvement in both the main series and its spin-off shows his commitment to discovering Oak Island's mysteries and his willingness to try new approaches in the search for answers. His skills as a diver and associate producer, together with his enthusiasm for exploration and history, have made him an essential part of the Oak Island tale, engaging both viewers and fans. In addition to the rumored massive amounts of gold and precious diamonds, estimated at over $7 million, Oak Island is thought to contain a variety of additional treasures, including Masonic objects. Marie Antoinette's jewels, the Holy Grail, and the Ark of the Covenant. Despite considerable searches, none of these artifacts has been located. Carbon-14 dating reveals that the money pit, where the valuables are believed to be hidden, dates from the 16th century. Since the 1800s, various people have attempted to uncover the alleged treasures, but all efforts have failed resulting in the famed Curse of Oak Island. According to legend, 
seven men will die before the islands. Major riches can be discovered. So far, six men have died in quest of the fabled ancient riches, adding to the mystery and risk surrounding Oak Island's treasures. Dan Blankenship and David Tobias bought Oak Island in 1960 and spent millions of dollars on excavations. Despite their extended and costly efforts, they were unable to discover the jewels and sold the island to Rick and Marty Legina. The Legina brothers, who have various perspectives on the nature of the rumored riches, continue to investigate Oak Island motivated by a combination of curiosity and determination. In 2019, Alex Legina strengthened his media visibility by featuring in the second season of The Curse of Civil War Gold, a documentary series about history teacher Kevin Dijkstra's search for Civil War treasure thought to be lost near Muskegon, Michigan. Marty Legina, Alex's father, also appears in the series, accompanied by a group of historians scholars, and treasure seekers, including Brad Richards and Fred Monroe. The program delves into the interesting possibility of $140 million worth of gold concealed in Muskegon, bringing a new level of intrigue to Alex's explorations beyond Oak Island. Despite his active role in television, Alex has faced wild rumors about his death on Oak Island. However, these rumors are untrue. Since Alex is still alive and working at his family's Murray Vineyards, beyond his television career, Alex is actively involved in humanitarian initiatives, sitting on the board of the DeCarpo Scholarship Fund, a non-profit organization that gives financial assistance to poor students who cannot afford music tuition on their own. In his spare time, Alex likes golfing demonstrating his wide interests and passion for recreational sports. While his calendar is filled with television production and vineyard management, Alex makes time to engage in his interests, demonstrating his commitment to living a balanced life. Oak Island has no permanent people and serves as the setting for the Lagina family's exploratory operations. The Lagina family's firm, Oak Island Tours Incorporated, provides guided tours of the island, allowing guests to learn about its secrets and history firsthand. Despite their great tries, the Lagina family has failed to find any significant riches on Oak Island. However, they have unearthed numerous fascinating finds, including a 1,652 Maravade Spanish coin, a rotolite garnet jewelry piece and human bones which add to the island's mystique and attractiveness. The enigma of Oak Island has not gone unchallenged, with some considering it a fake. Rick Lagina, the uncle of Alex on the other hand, has firmly defended his family in their efforts, claiming that their search for Oak Island's treasures is genuine and motivated by a desire to explore and discover. Marty Lagina and his son Alex Lagina, along with metal detector specialist Garrett Rayton, set off on another adventure to the Ross Farm Museum in New Ross, Nova Scotia. They meet with Carmen Legg, a local historian and treasure hunter, to get more information about a new artifact they discovered. It is a metal item recovered from over 100 feet below ground and thought to be from the money pit. Carmen describes the artifact as tapered on one end, and with a sharp tip suggesting its function as a spike. Gary Drayton compares it to a sailcloth needle, because of its size and form, pointing out that it looks to serve no practical use. However, Carmen says that such spikes were frequently used as booby traps in specific instances, notably in regions where valuable goods were thought to be buried. The finding of a spike from a probable booby trap at 114 feet in the Money Pit region, increases the mystery and fascination surrounding Oak Island. Booby traps have a lengthy history, extending back thousands of years, and being used by hunters, warriors, and treasure hunters. They are meant to catch prey, or protect precious areas from attackers, such as tombs, vaults, and sacred sites. The discovery of a booby trap, shows that the money pit region was purposely saved, sparking theories about the possibility of buried valuables on Oak Island. The Legina family and their team of specialists continue to uncover the secrets of Oak Island, 
one discovery at a time. As they dive further into its fascinating history, the finding of the spike indicates the idea that Oak Island has centuries of mysteries, and each new discovery takes them closer to discovering the truth about the island's famous treasures. As Marty, Alex, and their team continue their exploration, the world eagerly anticipates the next episode. In the epic Oak Island drama, the team carefully analyzes the spike, noticing that it was wrapped in a material appropriate for fixing it to a wooden surface, indicating that it was part of a complicated mechanism, rather than a simple tool. This complicated pattern refers to the spike's position as a component in a larger, more complex system. Carmen's examination places the spike's origins between the 15th and mid-17th centuries, adding to its mystery. This time frame matches the island's history, causing discussion regarding its function and the events that occurred on Oak Island. During that period, Marty Legaina examines the significance of the find, adding that it is the second booby trap-related discovery on Oak Island. The first, commonly known as the Flood Tunnel, was an enormous challenge to early miners. The finding of this spike suggests that there may be further hidden traps or obstacles that have yet to be uncovered, offering new information on the difficulties encountered by earlier treasure hunters on the island. The presence of such complicated traps indicates a high degree of craftsmanship and purpose behind the island's secrets. It also shows the dedication of individuals who built these devices to safeguard whatever is buried under Oak Island's surface. As the crew continues to explore, each new find adds to the island's fascinating history. The Spike's discovery serves as a reminder of the numerous mysteries that remain hidden on Oak Island waiting to be discovered by those bold enough to face its difficulties and unlock its secrets. The spike's especially excellent condition, considering its past, just adds to its attraction. Carmen observes that the spike has no evidence of corrosion, suggesting that it was manufactured of a sturdy substance. This shows that the spike was not a common equipment, but rather something of great worth or importance. The team's discovery raises fascinating concerns regarding Oak Island's history and the nature of any obstacle that may lie under its surface. This is part one of video. Thank you for watching.